Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome back to the doghouse. And well, today I actually have a Nova, but <laughs> I'm not on Dave's roof. <laughs> so we're going to just uh, do this here. This is the uh, 69 uh, Chevy Nova Yenko. And it's the Revell Nova. So, you know, let's just see what the difference is between this and all of the other Novas by Revell, shall we? You know, they seem to really like to do the 69, but... Uh, you know, it's going to be the same kit pretty much. So we'll make this quick. Yeah, same nice clear pieces. We're going to leave those in there. And we've looked at the body before, but let's just cut that open real quick. Uh, so the body and the interior tub and the uh, chassis all come together in one piece. Not one piece, three different pieces, but they're <laughs> packaged together like this. And yeah, I, the uh, the molding is excellent on this kit. Um, again, anytime you get these Revell um, Novas, uh, you can't go wrong. They're really, really nice. So this particular one, let's see what the Yenko has to offer. So there's our pins for the wheels. And it has the SS hood and the SS um, console. It has uh, the uh, the bucket seats, the multi-leaf suspension again, and the uh, same old black wall tires as the other kits, just plain old black walls. Let's look at the engine, see what the engine is. <laughs> In this bag here, we have uh, okay. Here is the engine. This looks to be a big block engine. How nice! A big block Chevy. Woohoo! So, there you go separate water pump I mean very nice molding on it uh, your interior your hood um, uh, hood hinges thank you very much uh, has the uh, pedals for a stick shift car and the stock exhaust for this Yenko and wheel backs, the radiator, radiator support. Well, let's look at some of the chrome that we got, shall we? Do, 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 do. Here we have, yep, there's your stick shift and uh, your hood grills. And I, I just call them the five spoke mags, um, but they're, um, they're a five-spoke wheel that Ford had, General Motors had, Chrysler had. Um, very, very slight variations in them. But yeah, they all pretty much looked the same. Uh-oh. We have dropped something. Oh, goodness the dropsies today okay here we have the SS grill the SS tailpiece big block valve covers the same old crappy carburetors in the other kits uh, but you know very nice mirror very nice air cleaner and separate um, separate door handles and um, uh, windshield wipers 
So that's a bonus, definitely. The destructions, um, you know, same old uh, Revell instructions. Building the engine, and this one has power steering. Yay for me! I like power steering. And straightforward on the chassis and the interior. Um, put the wheels on, put the radiator on, put the glass in, and the front grille, the rear tailpiece, and then here is your decal placement. So, no real options on this car other than with the decals, they come in white or black. So, uh, depending on what color you decide to paint the car, will decide, uh, you know, you can decide which, uh, which stripes you want to use. So uh, I think I'm going to do this one sunflower yellow for Dave <laughs> because um, he has been toying with the idea of putting Yinko stuff on his Nova just to kind of, you know, have fun with it. Why not? And using that sunflower yellow, we'd be putting on some black stripes. So yay for us. All right, well, that's it for today, folks. Um, you know, real short and sweet. Like I say, just another uh, uh, another Nova kit. So there it is, the Street Burner Nova. And there's the side of the box. And yeah, that's it. Again, really, really nice kit. The only thing, the only part of this kit that is, I even think is questionable is that, that carburetor. Everything else is just beautiful. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week.